Wagwan Massive, I'm S. Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now, in this video, I am going to be showing you how I make spicy rum and raisin dark chocolate. So please ensure that you stay tuned and watch to the end so that you can see how we do this Jamaican style. So first, what we do, we remove the cocoa beans from the pot. So I put my cocoa to ferment in the sun for a few days. Alright, so guys, on day four, I'm adding some rum to the bottle. So it's still fermenting. And I'm going to be adding some Jerry and Navy White rum to the bottle. Okay guys, so these cocoa beans, I sun dry them for two days, but usually you would dry your cocoa beans for up to one month, right? So to finish the drying process, I'm going to be putting these in the oven to parch them or finish roasting them so that we can make our chocolate. You just want to spread them out so that the heat can go through them evenly and then we are going to just shove them in the oven so guys you just want to turn the cocoa beans so that they don't burn while they're in the oven and you want to just spread them out again so that everything is even all right, we're just gonna put this in back for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna allow it to cool down and we'll be stripping off this, the shaft. So for the ingredients, we have the cocoa beans that we have roasted. Then we, we're gonna be using some vanilla milk powder the scotch bonnet pepper we're going to be using the seeds i already took out the seeds out of the scotch bonnet and of course it's rum and raisin chocolate so we are going to be using raisins a little bit of coconut oil and some granulated sugar so we are going to start by first grinding the seeds because I'm using a blender and not my grinder, the cocoa nibs, they're not going to be as smooth as I would really love them to be. But I guess that's the give and take. So if you have your grinder, feel free to use your grinder to do this part of the process. Because not everybody likes grainy chocolate. So here I am adding the vanilla milk powder and we're just going to grind this as smooth as we can get it. As I said, it's not going to be very smooth because the blender is not efficient that way. And then you just want to intermittently open your blender and just push the powder down so that everything can combine. So here I have my nutmeg and I'm just going to be gratering the nutmeg in it. As I said guys, this is Jamaican style so we need to have our spice, so spice up with chocolate. So yes, I'm using some nutmeg. And next we're at the scotch bonnet pepper and some coconut oil. So 
So this is as fine as I could get it. Next, I just take it to the stove. I'm using the heat transfer method and I'm going to kind of temper this. I'm not 100% tempering, but I'm just going to heat this up a bit to see if the cocoa powder can get any finer. And next, we just put this in our container. Now, I don't have a chocolate mold, and so I'm going ahead to use my baking tin. Guys, you just have to use what you have, right? And so I break no bank. And next, I break up my raisins and I put into the mixture. And then I'm going to add my rum. Yes, the good old Ray and Nephew white rum. To make it real Jamaican. Then we're going to stir this up to make sure everything combined. And we're going to be putting this in the refrigerator to get hard. So this is how my chocolate came out. It is very black and smooth. And yes, my baby him did have to touch it. <laughs> Uh, guys when i'm doing my videos he just won't keep out of them but yeah i love him so yes this is how it came out and i think i really love the texture so my sister is going to sample the chocolate and she's going to give me her honest opinion on what the taste is like <laughs> So it's a grainy. It's dark chocolate, so I can taste that rich darkness. It's not too sweet. I'm tasting the raisins. So the only issue, or if you call it that issue, is the grain. Could be a little smoother.